Hiya, my name's Andy and welcome back to the channel. So I'm about to jump into episode 6 of season 1 of Sense8. I've just literally finished watching episode 5 and I want to jump straight into this one because of the cliffhanger that happened. It wasn't like a, a massively like, oh my god type of moment, but it kind of was. It was Carla's wedding and Wolfgang showed up completely naked and told her or basically asked her what she was doing because she doesn't love him. And then they both passed out, I think. So that's quite concerning. But also it's good because I didn't want her to marry him. But I'm also wondering what's going to happen now. So hence me jumping straight into the next episode. There's lots of other stuff happening as well, which I did talk about at the end of the last episode, which was for me just now. So if there's anything that you want to know about that, then obviously go check that out in that video. But yeah, I think with all that said, let's just jump straight into this. This is Sense8, Season 1, Episode 6. Wonder where we're starting. Oh, was it this cop's 40th birthday? I want to cry. I'm well, by the way. I'm well. You live in Chicago? Yeah. You're in uh, London, right? Ah, that's so cool. I've always wanted to go. Well, here you are. Are we going crazy? Hey, got an idea. Give me your phone. There's no way you can know this number, right? Call me. Hey, Diego. Hey, Diego. Can you pick this up for me? Yeah. Hello? Uh, hi. Is Will there? Yeah. Hang on. Some chick with a weird accent. Weird accent? I think it is safe to say we're not going crazy. crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Jonas said that there were eight of us. Jonas. He was with a woman who shot herself. Angelica. How did you know that? I'm not sure. That time you came to the church, you seemed really scared. You okay? I have complicated friends. They tell me about it. I love this. Oh, is it today that she's getting arrested? She's obviously made that decision, hasn't she? That's why, presumably, she was taking her dog to that guy in the last episode. They took it all, Neats. My laptop, backups. They even took all of my journals. This isn't fair. None of this is fair. This isn't gonna stop. They're never gonna leave us alone, are they? Unless we make them. I have offered to surrender to police pending trial. Neither my father, my brother, nor any other member of my family were involved or profited in any way. You better can appreciate this. Both of them. Riley. Oh, f Shucks. Why don't you take him down me for a walk? I thought he was dead. Where is it? I don't have it. I gave it away. Of course you did. Look at my face, Riley. Look at my face. Look what they did to me. This is nothing compared to what I will do to you. The money and the drugs. 
understand why you died. I know. I swear I don't have them. I'm so sorry, Riley. I don't believe you. Please, Nixon. I promise you it's not. Oh. It's. Oh, f off. Oh, somebody kill him. I don't know who. I just changed things. Oh, Will, somebody. Oh. I love how. Oh, f off. Oh, please. Oh, just beat the fuck out of everybody, please. That probably looked bad, though. He saved her life. Where are these two going? Hey, Mom. I am so glad you called. Oh, he was watching. <laughs> these two are very connected, aren't they? Hello again. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. You have already ruined my life. You didn't want to marry that guy. You don't know what I want. Don't I? If the gods or goddesses is angry with me and has sent a demon. A dangerous bubba demon who never seems to have any clothes on. <laughs> Why did you look? I did not. Yes, you did. You're looking now. I'm not. I don't know what's happening to us either, but I do know that from the moment I first saw you, I wanted you. Oh my god. You are a demon. is a symbol. He is the devil in our lives. But for most of us, he is that fear we're afraid to face. Come on! Is that thingy's ex? The girl that he's kind of with but not with. Well, our parents do the best that they can. And it's our job to forgive them. Raja, I'm not making this easy, but I think we should just get on with it. Get on with what? I know why you came here. I know that if it was you that had fainted just before you were to marry me, oh dear, I'd be absolutely sure that you hated me and that you didn't want anything to do with me. For me, what happened at the banquet was a part of the story. I'm here because I'm hoping that it's, it's not the end of our story. <clears throat> you can see why we have to get married now, can't you? I think it was probably Wolfgang's dick that made her faint. Rather than love for her new husband. <laughs> I hear your mother continues to improve. Medicine is helping. Thank you. You're thinking, what will you help me deliver this time? Amondi, how are you? I'm good. This is Kafias. Hi. Hello. My daughter Amundi does not see me as someone to fear. She has leukemia to combat this. She receives induction therapy at the World Health Organization Center on the Nakuru Road. My cars are known to my enemies. The road to Nakuru is long. She's the most important thing in the world to me, Kafiz. Everything I do is to build a life for her. Without her, my life has no meaning. And if something happens to her, neither will yours. 
That's not quite as bad as we thought it might be. Or we, I thought it might be. In order to properly prepare our case, we ask for the right to post bail. Motion is unaccounted for. It would be easy for someone with Miss Park's connections to flee the country. I concur. Bail is denied. Shit. He's also taken for tomorrow and the day after. Charted for private use. By who? Salas Kabaka. You, you mustn't do this. I have to. You can get medicine from my mother, huh? Remove all clothing. The shower is there. You have two minutes. There are doors. You gave up your right to privacy the minute you arrived here. Bastards. With Ed star Lito Rodriguez. Can we get a little up close and personal here? Any STDs? No. no. Have you ever been checked for HIV? What about family? What about them? When was your last intercourse? Some time ago. Well, Lito, we don't have a lot of time, so I'll have to be direct. Remove your underwear. And squat over. This mirror. Really? Cough. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm, I'm not doing that. You're not doing what? That was just an, an, an act of reflex. What is the secret to be a great lover? But you have to be selfless. The pleasure of your lover must become your own. This is where desire becomes love, I guess. <laughs> I think uh, he won her over. That's what happened to sluggers. This episode is quite distracting. I mean, I suppose that's one way of kind of getting to know each other, isn't it? Not quite sure where to look. <laughs> I just had one of the best orgasms of my life. Why these people? Why these minds? Why not a mind that feels, I don't know, more in sync with my own? Maybe that's the point. How so? I imagine that to be something more than what evolution would define as yourself, you'd need something different from yourself. Hmm. Are we going to get Will in to pick that lock? Oh, I've forgotten about Riley. First with the spiritual son. Why are you here? I'm afraid I've just made the biggest mistake of my life. Ah. Time to go? Watching Van Damme again. Jean-Claude is a source of inspiration. Inspiration to do what? To believe you can make a difference. I like Jean-Claude. He wants to do the same thing my dad wants to do. Really? Yes. My dad says a lot about people trying to hurt us and take our home away. So we have to be brave and fight just like Jean Claude. Why are we here? In Iceland, there are small people 
like elves. When I was young, I went into a cave and I heard one singing. She told me I was born with a hex, and that if I stayed in Iceland, bad things would happen to me and to the people that I loved. And then my mother died, and I believed it was my fault. My mother died when I was young, too. But I still believed somehow it was my fault. I want to see my father. You should go. I'm afraid. Don't be. Right now, you're safer there than where you are. That makes a lot of sense why she's... I go to prison. In London. Are you afraid? You're safer there than where you were. I'm worried. What was that for? Just felt like something I needed to do. I was expecting, I don't know why I was expecting something to happen then. Remember to be careful, child. They'll hurt you if they find out. Find out? What you are. What am I? Oh, it's Angelica. The future. That was that that felt like a, a slower episode overall to the last one. But it's it's oh <laughs> it's so interesting. I'm really enjoying it. And like we're starting like, you know it we got a bit of it in the last episode as well, but we're starting to see the parallels between the characters, which I hadn't picked up on. But in the last episode we saw Caffius and Sun like with their choices and decisions that they had to make and then obviously in this episode we saw Riley and Son and I don't know Naomi's obviously got more of a handle on it than I'd thought as well like judging by what she was saying but I'm just really really worried about her because there was definitely somebody that saw her go into the house where they're staying now so I'm just quite concerned that they're gonna get broken into or or Naomi's gonna get kidnapped or something. I don't know what, but yeah, that's worrying. And obviously Riley, her situation, that bastard that I can't remember the name of, the guy from the first episode, the one that is the Benjamin Stark actor, that was terrifying. And like Will fighting his way out of it, thank God. But he obviously had to like people that were close to him which wasn't ideal because that could have been anyone like it was lucky that he was at a, a do for cops rather than like i don't know an old people's home or something do you know what i mean he could have been lashing out at anybody so that definitely feels like it needs to like more control needs to be gained in that kind of aspect but obviously you know he saved riley's life which is thank god Definitely interesting finding out the reasoning why Riley is in England rather than in Iceland. But anyway, yeah, that was a, a really enjoyable episode. I'm not going to watch any more today, so uh, I'm going to have to wait for the next one. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Before I do, don't forget that if you've enjoyed this reaction to like the video and subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos. But uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.